Percy works in the yard at Natford Station. He loves playing jokes, but they can get him into trouble. One morning, he was very cheeky indeed. Hurry up, fat face! The train's ready! Oh, it must be late! <laughs> and showed him a line of dirty coal trucks. Oh, Gordon thought how to pay Percy how out. Could I pay him out. Next, it was James's turn. Hey, James, guess what? You must stay in the shed today. The Fat Controller will come and see you. Oh, finally! The Fat Controller knows I'm a fine engine. He wants me to pull a special train. James's driver and fireman tried everything they could, but James did not move. So the other engines had to do James's work as well as their own. They grumbled dreadfully. At last, an inspector arrived. Come on, show a wheel, James. You can't stay here all day. Sorry, sirs, but the Fat Controller told me to stay here. He sent a message this morning. He did not. How could he? He's away with his family on the mainland for the week. What? Wait, the only reason this could happen is that... No! Oh! This was a ding dong darn setup! Just wait until I get my buffers on that caterpillar! Where on earth is Percy? Unfortunately for James, Percy had <laughs> wisely disappeared. So when the Fat Controller came back, he did see James and Percy too. Both engines wish they had Oh dear. A few days later, he was still rebelling. I say, you engines, I'm to take some trucks to Thomas's junction. The fat controller chose me especially. He must know I'm a really useful engine. More likely he wants you out of the way because you're such a nuisance. Gordon winked to James. They were making a plan. They were going to play a naughty trick on Percy. You know, little Percy, James and I were just speaking about signals at the junction. We can't be too careful about signals, but then I needn't say that to a really useful engine like you. Thank you, Gordon. Oh, yes. We had spoken of these new backing signals. They need extra special care, you know. Would you like me to explain? No, thank you, James. I know all about signals. Percy was starting to get a bit worried. I wonder what backing signals are. Never mind, I'll manage. He puffed crossly to his trucks and felt better. He came to a signal. Father, it's that danger signal. The signal moved to show line clear. However, something strange happened. Instead of going down, its arm moved up instead of down. Percy had never seen that sort of signal before. Hmm, let's see here. Down means go, and up means stop. So up or still must mean go back. Oh, I know! It's one of those backing signals! Come on, Percy. Off we go. <gasps> Wait! Stop! You're going the wrong way! But, Jerry, it's a backing signal. Percy protested and told him about Gordon and James. His driver laughed and explained. <laughs> Percy, you silly engine! They're making a new type of technological system that makes the signal go up to warn that the line is clear. Percy realized he was bitten by karma and was about to depart when Gordon <laughs> appeared teasing him. He had seen everything.
That night, the big engines talked about signals. They thought the subject was funny. Percy thought they were being very silly.